hello greetings and welcome to my youtube video the focus of this video is to show you how to make decisions in the comp exam basic simulation to kickstart our decisions you must first evaluate the report for the previous round like for this case we will evaluate the report for round one uh, this specifically the capsim courier report comp exam courier report so that you can know your performance in terms of financial statistics and where your products lie uh, the production information and also where your products lie and what are the the customer buying criteria so let's kick start our decisions as you can see i have opened a different excel file where i've calculated the r d decisions so my work here will only be only to transfer the decisions into the right page so let's kick start our decisions so for our able product which is our traditional product we'll be forced to revise it but remember for the low end product we won't revise it because we want a product that's almost seven years i don't know if eka product is already seven years but we can confirm under the low end segment sorry so under the low end segment our product uh, which is the eka product as you can see it's uh 5.82 years so we won't revise it at this stage we we'll leave it that way so we we'll revise the other products but leave our acre product which is the low end product or for the able product the new performance will be 9.025 so we can 9.025 while the size the new size comes to 10.975 so we'll do 10.9 you can hit the recalculate button and see what happens the revision date so you can see the product is coming out this november we won't change anything about that because the tqm decisions will help us to lessen the revision date so as i told you the eka product will leave it this way we'll go to the adam product Sorry about that, I was just confirming the customer buying criteria. So for the other product, we, we expected a performance of 14.1 and size of 6.5. So 14.1 and 6.5. And a size of 6.5. So we'll do 6.5 and we see. Hit the recalculate button also. Sorry, it's taking long, so the product will be come out this year, 2025, so we won't change anything about that. We'll go to the other one where we expected to have a performance of 15.2 and 11.9 the size, so 15.2 and 11.9. So 15.2 and 11.9. The, the new size, so we'll also hit the recalculate button. Be patient. So the product is also coming out this year, so we won't change up anything about it. Then we'll go to the last <coughs> product, 8.0 and 4.8. 8.0 and 4.8. 8.0, this is our size product. So 8.0 and 4.8. Hit the recalculate button also. So the product is coming out next year. We don't uh, uh, we don't want to have the product coming out next year. So we'll try to lessen some decisions. Like maybe for the new size, we can increase it to five. Uh, we have increased it by two. And performance, we can reduce the performance by two. That comes to 7.8. And see if it will help us bring the revision date back to 2025. So February 2026, we're almost there. Let's lessen it also by C two. 7.6 and the size 5.2 and we see cool the product is coming out in november so we'll have almost one month to sell so the next will go to the tqm then come back to r d so under the total quality initiative we'll invest 1000 in each initiative so that they will help us uh, with the revision date and also increase the demand of our products
remember you should not do over 4,000 for all the initiatives for all the four rounds. So I decided to do 1,000 each round. So you can see the worst, the best case is better than the worst case. So that shows that our investments are fine. We can go back to the R&D decisions and check out if we have lessened the revision date for our products. So you can see it's coming out in September. So we'll have October, November and December to sell. September also. So all the products are fine. For the Adam Aft and the Agape with the uh, an extension of the name in the at the end those are the new products we are launching in the three different segments those are the high end performance and the the high end performance and the size market segment so we'll go to the next decisions which is under we can go under human resource because we have finished TKM we can go under human resource because that's a simple decision to make then we'll finish the finance so under the human resource we'll leave it that way we'll in, recruit we'll spend 5000 under recruitment and eight hours of training so we'll leave it like that we won't change anything here we'll go to our marketing decisions to set the price of the different product that we want to sell so under this segment you can see the promo budget and the sales budget we'll do that later but uh we can okay we can start with that let's set the promo budget because everything is fine 2000 for all the other market segment but for the adam and after and agape we haven't sell, set the promo budget so you can just click on it, wait it to load, as we evaluate the customer awareness for our product. So customer awareness, that's what is impacted by the investment that we make under uh, the investment that we made under uh, we make under the promo budget. So we will start with the traditional segment because that's the first segment. Sorry. So. So we are company Andrew, sorry about that. I did not inform you at the start of the simulation. Uh, we are company Andrews and we are using the broad differentiation strategy where we'll make sure that we have products in all the market segments. So yeah, let's start with the traditional segment and see the customer awareness of our product. So under the traditional segment, our product is able. As you can see able, here we have a market share of 8% which is so low but we have the highest uh, consumer survey of 40 and accessibility 43 that's still low awareness 72 so we'll still invest, invest the maximum in that so we can see the price so we set a price of 26.5 while the highest has had a price of 27 so i think we lessen that price a little bit by maybe 50 dollars or one dollars let's go to the next segment which is the low end segment our product under the low end segment is the Eka product. So you can see here we had a market share of 8%. We stocked out, which is not good. Uh, a price of 20. Well, the best. So the best one had a price of about 19. So I think we'll also lessen our product under the low end market segment. You can see that uh, the customer awareness is still at 66. So we'll still have to invest more under customer awareness. Well, the cons customer accessibility is 42 percent we'll also have to invest more under the sales budget so next is the high-end market segment under the high-end market segment our product is the adam product we also stocked out a market share of 11 not that good but we set a price of 33 which is among the list uh, you can see the the customer with the best customer survey had a price of about a score of 46 had a price of about 37 so i don't think we'll change our price for the high-end market segment but customer awareness, we are at 60, which is among the highest. This customer awareness, well, for the accessibility, we are 48. So we need to invest more in our accessibility. So under the performance market segment, uh, we have the aft product, 22% market share. Uh, we did stock out and uh, a price of 31.5, fairly good. So, But we'll still drop it a little bit because we want to win more market share. And we also have uh, the best customer survey of 41 so in terms of awareness we are at 56 so we need to invest more under awareness and the accessibility of the product okay the last one is the size market segment so under the size market segment you can see we are agape 18 percent so we did stock out here yeah? so customer survey score of 29 of 29 not that good 
accessibility of 50 and 56 awareness so we'll need to boost up our investments in that area so let's go back and make our decisions so as you saw we were doing fine in this in the in most of the marketing budget so i don't think we'll change much but we'll just try and invest more and uh, for the new products that we are bringing in the market so i'll go the same because i want to maintain 2000 sorry because of investing i want to invest 500 in all the different budget areas promo budget areas so i'll just do 500 for all the products so i'll hit the recalculate button cool so we're investing more under the trade shows so we'll still drop it down maybe to 200 the same way we did for the other products and hit the recalculate button and see this out check this out Cool, so we have 2,200, I think that's so much. Maybe I'll reduce this to 300 for all the market, for all the products, sorry. Because I don't want to go beyond uh, 2,000, the budget, because we have the diminishing law of returns apply under these sections. So next, we'll go to our sales budget from the evaluation of the industry condition, industry with the courier report. You realize that we needed to invest more in the sales budget, uh, but for the for the traditional, we were doing so much. So I think we can drop this a little bit. For the low end, uh, it was fine. I think it was about two, two coming to about two thousand the total. While we need to increase for the high end product, so I think I'll do eight for all of them. Uh, for the performance, we also had to increase a little bit. Maybe I can go with ten in all the regions. And see the impact this will make in our access in our accessibility for the size i need also to boost this up so i'll do a 10 for all the three segments so we can hit the recalculate button before we proceed cool with that done let's go to the next decisions so which is about setting the price and forecasting so pricing and forecasting we can finish with this sorry my internet is acting up so i'll my decisions from the evaluation of the cooler report was to drop the price a little bit for our low end product so i'll do 25.5 for the echo product i'll also drop it a little bit maybe let me say 19.5 while for the Adam product, I think I'll leave it this way. I won't change the price because I think that's the, our high-end product. And in the high-end segment, price is not an issue. For the aft product, I think I'll lessen this to also 30.5. I, I know I'm lessening it a lot, but I think it will help in the long run. While for the Adam Agape product, for which is our size product, I think I'll also drop it maybe, let's say, 32.0 before i can hit the recalculate before i set price for the three new products so i think i'll use the courier report to set the price for the new three new products so under the we'll start with the size the size segment so the best product in the size has a price of about 32.5 so i think i'll i'll go a little bit higher under the size so let or let me just do 32.2 a little bit lower but not that much lower so for the next market segment which is the performance market segment so we have the size the performance market segment we are doing fine with the highest uh, um, with the highest customer survey score but on the aspect of price I don't think I'll share uh, I think I'll change it for the new product because they want a price of 22.5 to 32.5 while the highest price is 32.5 so i think i'll go with 32 for this product because it's a new product in the market and i know it will attract a lot of customers while for the adam product so adam is in our high-end market so it's an adam double m so that it won't be same with the other one so for the high-end market segment 
for the high end market segment for the high end market segment we are not the highest but let's say a price of 37 when we are charging 33 so i don't i think from the customer survey uh, a price of 37.5 let's do 36.5 i think that will be fine so i'll do 36.5 and then before i hit the recalculate button let's see it and see so you can see we are not making profits for the new product but with time we we'll make profit so we have to do our sales forecast for the new product mm -hmm. for the all the products only not necessarily the new product and as you can see i also use the excel sheet to make this decision so here are the decisions after my calculations because you have to know the units sold the investments that uh, the growth rate of the industry and all that so you should learn to do that also so i'll start by setting the price so setting the forecast so here i think 980 from the calculations that i had made so we have 980, 1370. Let's do 1370. And for the other market, we'll do 680. I think 680 will be fine. Despite them giving us a higher benchmark prediction, we don't have to follow what they're telling us. So the next is 1219. So I can just do 1220. I think 1220 will be fine. While for the Agape product, for the agape product i think we'll do 980 i think 980 will be fine 980 so i want you to see that for the despite us in pro introducing a new adam product but the the names we have a double m uh, an additional m at the end for the aft product we have we added an a t and for the agape we added an e because 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 since we are company andrews all our products should start with the, the name the word a so that's it so for this the new product they always sell about 10 percent of the original market share so we can do that calculation so for the adam product i think 680 10 percent of 680 so i think we'll do 300 for this one so for the aft product we will not necessarily do 10 percent but we can just boost up the numbers we'll do 500 for the aft product while for the agape product i think going with 450 will be fine so we can hit the calculate button but don't expect the new products to earn us so much profits at the start of the round okay but okay wow well, for this case we have uh, some profit so we'll leave it that way so i can see under the sales budget we are still investing less under the for the aft and agape product so i think I'll, I'll try to boost it up for the aft and agape while for the for the able and echo products you can see for the able and the echo product the sales budget we are exceeding the 2000 so i think we'll we'll also try to reduce that a little bit so let's see the sales budget and do that. So under the sales budget, I told you that we'll try to increase the, the for the apt and the agape. So these are the performance and size segments. So I think if we do 12, 12, 12, because we want to increase our accessibility, we also do the same for the performance product so but for the able and the echo product which are the traditional and low end we were doing so much so i think i'll lessen this by one and also take this to a three so we can go back to the decisions under the pricing and forecasting decisions and see the impact these changes have on our forecast so okay i think we'll go with this but for the after and the agape let me increase them one more time so so i think with that will be fine then we can go to the next decision so after that 
marketing decisions we can go to production so under the production segment under the production segment you can see that we uh, stocked out for most of our product except for the low-end product so for this case we want to produce 980 but it will be 980 uh, lessened by the 200 inventory that we had so it's 980 less than the 291 inventory so we have to produce about 680 so i think we'll do 900 and see the impact this has so that's still high let's change it to 800 and see so we have 792 i think uh, that's still high let's do seven so let's do 700 and see our production so 693 i think that's fine so here we need to produce about 1370 so i think i'll do 1400 and see hope it doesn't surpass the plant capacity that we yield so 1386 i think that will be fine for this one we need to produce around 680 so i think doing 800 will be fine let's see for the adam product so 792 i think we'll leave it that way here we need to do 1200 let's do 1300 for the aft product and see 1300 for the aft sorry so we are surpassing the uh, plant capacity so we have we can do 1200 let's do 1200 and see so for the aft product we can sell 18 11 88 so i think we'll go back under the marketing decision so 11 it was 11 88 because that's the highest you can produce so we'll go back to marketing and change that for the aft product So for the aft product, aft product will do 11.88. So let's do that, 11.88, and see the change. So we'll go back to under production segment and make the changes. So if we'll go to the agape product. We are our forecast is 980. Let's produce a thousand and see what this does. Because we need to have uh, at least 980 that's our, what our forecast projection tells us so 990 that's good we are using the second ship production only so here let's do 400 and see so if we produce we're having one uh, we 400 and we need to produce so we're having 135 185 so the maximum you can produce under this the new product is 800 using both shifts so i think we can do this and see what products we'll have so we are still having 185 so i'll go back and change that so for the adam we can only do 185 so let's change the aft so using the whole shift we'll do 800 and we'll also do 800 for the agape product so hit the recalculate button and see the number of products that we'll have at the end of the production after so we can do 169 and for the agape we can do 143 so i'll go back to our projections under the on our forecast under the marketing pricing and forecast page of marketing and change this so for the agar for the adam product which is our new product instead of 300 we have seen we can only produce 185 so we don't want to be over optimistic about that let's just go with the numbers we'll do 169 for the aft product and 143 for the agape product Cool, that's it. We'll not make any profits under this round, but don't worry about that because we are just introducing the products in the market. So we'll go by capacity, make some changes. 
so i'll try to increase the uh, automated rating because for the low end product we want we want it to hit the 10 spot high in the early in the game so that you can reduce the amount that you're spending on laborers so we'll do 9.5 let's do 6.5 here let's do 4.5 i think we want to be, be short of try of cash so let's do four we also do 4.5 here before we decide to buy capacity so let's start with the automation invest maximally under on automation so you can see with 4.5 we still have something left because we are 32 so for the ones that we are utilizing the opacity fully maybe we can buy back we can buy not sorry not buy back but you can buy some some space so we do 50 50 and 50 for the new products but sorry i don't think i'll need to invest so much in the expansion of the um, product that were there in the market segment that we are trying to introduce new products in so instead i'll invest maximally in buying space for the new products sorry about that so hit the recalculate button and see so we are using 41,000. we haven't surpassed the 46 so i think for the for the low end product maybe i can get it to a 10 for the traditional let me get it to an 8 and see so you can see we are using excess of what is expected of us so maybe i can take this to a 7 let me take this to a 7 this to a 4.0 and also this to a 4.0 and we we'll see if we can lessen what we are investing in automation sorry about that but that's how you learn to play the game so 46 we are remaining with two so i think i'll leave the, the decision this way so next i'll go to we have done the production human resource and everything let's go to the finance section the last section of the simulation i hope we'll improve on our scale so our earnings per share is still low because we introduced remember the last round we introduced so many products so we made so much inve investment and we are running out of uh, cash so what i'll do i'll just take the i'll issue the maximum long-term loan that is 43 793 so let's see what that does if we at least will um, reduce the risk of having an emergency loan so 2000 so what i'll do next maybe i can retire some stock maybe only 100 and hope that will increase will improve our finance financial status so to so instead of retiring stock uh maybe i can take a current debt let me take a current debt and see what this does of five thousand so we are at a, a, a positive cash balance at the end of the simulation so the trick is maybe to look at our ratios and our balance scorecard and see our performance projected performance sorry so you can see everything is not that good but i'm most interested with the days of working capital so we are above 30 though it's still a red but as long as we are above 30 i think that's fine